Hey there friends, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel, Golden State Educate. I am outside of Michael's. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm outside of Michael's um, and I have decided that I am ready to start my classroom prep projects. So that is what this video is going to be. This is prepping for my second grade classroom. So I have quite a few projects that I have been brainstorming or thinking about and putting off <laughs> until now that I am ready to get started. I have a couple things that I am hoping to work on. I want to make labels for my classroom library. I have already talked about in other videos how I am organizing my library um, based off of chapter book series and then also just like different picture books, um, you know, categorized by like topic. Um, I am also going to make equity sticks. I used sticks last year, um, but they were just kind of boring. They just had all the kids' names on them and I had a cute idea for them this year. What else am I doing? Oh, I posted a classroom haul. I'll link it above and down below if you haven't checked it out already. Um, but I talked about, I bought like these large read letters from Hobby Lobby, so R-E-A-D, um, and I am going to bedazzle them. So I am headed into Michael's to go get several different craft supplies and I'll see you guys back at home. All right, my friends, so I'm back. I have all the letters for read and these are a pretty good size. Um, they're like a little bit bigger than my hand, so they're not massive, um, but they're not teeny tiny. And then I, they're like this weird, like gray cardboard color, um, and I don't love that. So I am going to bedazzle them with all of these like white silvery um, uh, gems. But if there's any like holes where the gems don't meet, I don't want it to be this gray color. So I think I'm going to paint all of them white really quick, just like a quick a quick paint of white and then I can go through and start hot gluing the rhinestones down or the gems down and this is a good project to like do while I'm watching TV so I won't film this whole thing because that would be like multiple hours <laughs> of me just gluing these letters but I'm excited for it and I like this pack because there's so many different sizes so I think it will add some cool dimension and just make these letters like super fun. So I'm gonna paint them and then let them dry a little bit and then start bedazzling them. Okay, so I have my little setup going on here. I have my letter, I have my gems, I have my beverage and Love Island is on the TV. Um, so if you also watch Love Island, give this video a like because how could you not? Um, I just started it like a couple weeks ago and I've already watched several seasons. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that within one episode I can finish a letter. Um, that would be great. Hopefully it takes less than that, um, but we'll see. And then one of my life hacks is a cordless glue gun. I had watched so many what you need as a first year teacher videos um, while I was student teaching. And someone said that I needed a cordless glue gun, so I bought one um, and then I never used it <laughs> until right now. So I thought this would be a great time so that way I can be, you know, cordless doing my thing and gluing this on. So I will show you guys what it's looking like when it's done. So it is obviously the next day now. <laughs> um, I probably spent like a couple hours, like at least two full episodes, a couple of hours working on my project. It took me about two hours to do the whole letter, but I finished it. And now that it's done, I think it looks really cool. I'm gonna start on the E right now. Um, because I just have, you know, some free time today. But I also recorded another video today. So I got to go to my classroom this morning, which was super exciting. At this point, um, you'll have already seen my empty classroom tour because I'm gonna post that definitely before I'm done with these projects. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. But yeah, here it is. I think it looks really cool. The hot glue was perfect because it like totally filled in um, any of the gaps that I might have missed where they like didn't fully line up but I think it looks really cool. It is considerable. 
considerably later now. I'm not even sure like the last time that I talked to you guys, but I know that I finished my project <laughs> of my read letters finally. Um, I finished them yesterday. So I started this project on a Wednesday and then I finished it on a Sunday. So it did take me several days. I'm sure if I just like sat down and like powered through it, I could have done it in like a quicker time. Okay. Here they are. They are all done. They all look so pretty. Like I'm very excited about how this turned out. Um, they're not perfect. Like if you look really closely, you'll see that like there's some gaps, but for the most part, it came together really nicely. Um, I think the hardest part was like finding all these little tiny, tiny beads to fill the holes or tiny gems to fill the holes. Um, just because I have like this gigantic pack of three different sizes. So that took a while, but I did it. And these are going to go up in my classroom library. And I'm excited too because they're going to be facing the window. So I'm hoping that, you know, when the sun hits them all day, they'll be like beautiful and sparkly just like this. So I went to Office Depot and I had them print out a few of the things for my classroom. I got all of my um, alphabet printed out. I got all of my number line printed out and then I am actually going to make a calendar to go with my new color scheme today and then I'll go get that printed out as well. So my goal is to um, laminate all of those and then cut out my number line and then I have a little teacher hack to show you guys. Okay so here's my alphabet. Um, I will have this linked down below. It is from Hey Miss D who I follow on Instagram and she also has a teacher pay teachers and I bought this from her. So I absolutely love this color scheme. When she posted about this, I knew that this was going to be my color scheme for this year. And basically everything is focused around this alphabet. So this is what it looks like. It's basically a gradient of like pink, orangey yellows, and then blues. So here is the whole, the whole thing. Super, super cute. My one concern at this point that I didn't really think about initially. So my one problem with this alphabet set is that, you know, I'm teaching second grade and, you know, second graders are still working on their handwriting. Like they might still forget sometimes. Um, so this is definitely like an educational resource in the classroom. And I don't think I was thinking about it like that. I was just thinking like, wow, what a cute color scheme. But my concern is that like some of the letters, like this lowercase b and like this lowercase a and just some of the other letters are just not um the correct letter formation like this is a very cute font but it's not the letter formation that I want my second graders to be writing so I'm concerned that if they like forget or something and they look up then they're going to be trying to draw or trying to write this lowercase like fancy b instead of just like a regular one um so I'm just kind of torn my concern is that I already had them printed out um, and I laminated them. So I've already spent like a good bit of money on these, but just the letter formation of some of them, like this K, I don't know. Um, so I'm thinking about like making a circle that's the same size as this circle and just doing the alphabet just in a different font, like a really easily read font. <laughs> so that way the kids know. And then gluing the circle on top of this circle. Um, because I feel like from far away, you won't be able to tell that they're not like all one thing if I like hot glue a different circle on there. So just something that I'm thinking about doing. I wish I would have thought about it before, um, but I was just focused on like how cute it was and how much I loved it. And I still do love the color scheme, love the little clouds. Um, and I love the font, but again, just in terms of like a child resource, some of them are just not it. Hello everyone. So. I, it is the next day now. <laughs> I feel like this whole video is just me saying it's the next day now. But all of these projects, like I'm kind of a project person. Like I'm not going to say I'm like the biggest DIY queen or anything, but I like a good project. Um, I did a lot of things this morning. I um, 
finished painting my popsicle sticks. I think I already included that because I painted them last night. Um, but I'm gonna have to redo them because basically I am going to, I'll show you what exactly I'm doing with them, but I got these big popsicle sticks for equity sticks and I was just looking at them and like what they would look like all together in a bucket and like there's just they're too big they're too big i wanted them to be big so that way the little cookie um that i'm gonna put on top is going to like be big but i it's just not it's just not gonna do it for me so i went and i got small ones these are the size that i this is the size <laughs> that i used last year just like blank popsicle sticks but they are considerably smaller and considerably skinnier than these big ones. So I'm gonna change to these and paint these white. And I don't know if I actually talked about it yet, but I'm gonna call these my smart cookie sticks. Okay, so I painted all of my new popsicle sticks, the smaller ones. So I painted them again. Um, I painted one side and then right now I'm waiting for that side to dry. Um, but while I do that, I'm gonna show you my smart cookies and then I'm also going to print those out um, and then laminate them. So here is the little clip art um, bundle that I got from Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, I will have this linked down below. And then here is all the little cookies. So Put them onto a Word document. And this is what it looks like. So I just measured out my... Um, my popsicle stick and then I just put the same dimensions of the popsicle stick in um, each picture. So I, you can click on the picture and then click on picture format and then you can just change the dimensions of them right here. So all of them are 1.3 by 1.34 and then I did a mix of the blue ones, the pink ones, the green ones, and the purple ones. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to print these out, laminate them, and cut them. And then I will paint the other side of the sticks and then put the project all together. Okay, so I just laminated my little smart cookies. I was actually looking at it and I decided to scale them down just a tiny bit. So these are 1.3s. Um, but then I scaled them down a little bit to 1.2. Doesn't seem like that much of a difference, but I think this will work a little bit better. Um, because when I put my popsicle stick on this guy just a lot of it was kind of hanging out and this one there's just a little bit on the edges that hang out so I think it will kind of stay better over time whereas this one I'm kind of imagining like the more space that it has the easier it will be able to get like ripped off I don't know but I'm going to paint the back side of all of these sticks and then I will cut these guys out and then this project is so quick it should be done probably today Oh my gosh, so I'm starting to cut them out and they're so cute. Like I knew that they were gonna be cute, but these little tiny cookies, I'm obsessed with them. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna start working on, my paint sticks are still drying, but I cut out all the little cookies, but they're not ready to get glued on yet. So I wanted to show you guys a couple other things that I've been working on. Here is my calendar for this year. Um, I use a pocket chart calendar. Um, I really like it. It's super easy to change out everything. Um, so yeah, I already showed you guys in this video the alphabet that I'm going to use and I said that the alphabet and all the colors in the alphabet are like the basis of my whole classroom like this is my color scheme but the problem with that is you like I don't have a whole matching set for that so I have to kind of make my own so I was talking about on Instagram how I made my own calendar and so many people said how do you do it so I thought I would do a little tutorial in this video if you already know how to do this you can just skip um, but I wanted to show you just the quickest quickest video of how I do this first thing that you're going to do is get your empty template click on design click on slide size page setup and then you're going to make it an eight and a half by eleven just because that is the standard printer paper size and everything that I print out is on printer paper and then I just put it through my laminator. So once you have your blank template, you're going to want to measure out the area that you are hoping to create something for. So I did it for a calendar. So I basically just took my measuring tape, I figured out the dimensions of each little square. Each square is like three and a half by three and a half. Um, so that's pretty much all you need to know. So because I know that I am going to be making a calendar, 
I want all of my squares to be the same. So I'm gonna go back over here. I'm going to click insert at the top and then I'm going to insert a shape and I'm just gonna pick the square because I know that I want the square and then I'm just going to drop it on the page. You're gonna see that this square is obviously not very big but you can come over here and customize the dimensions. So I know that each of the squares in my pocket chart is three and a half by three and a half. And I'm pretty sure that's like the standard for pocket charts. Don't, don't quote me on that, definitely measure yours. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how I get the exact colors that I want so that way everything matches. So what you're gonna wanna do is pull up an example of the colors that you want. Um, if you don't already have them, you can look at like color swatches on Google, um, pull up a picture that you really like. Um, but for me, I'm going to pull up the document that has my alphabet on it because I know that these are the colors that I wanna use. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the shape. You're going to click on shape fill. You're going to click on more fill colors and then you're going to see this little dropper down here this is how you do it you're going to click on the dropper and then you can drag it to the area of your example and find the color that you want so i like this pink color i'm going to click on that and it's going to go into the box so that's the color that it will turn out as and you're going to click ok and there you go so let's see, I'm gonna do the light pink one, more fill colors to get that dropper out, find the pink that you want or the color that you want and then drop it right in. And it's so easy. It's just so great because you don't have to try to match colors. You don't need to have some things that are slightly off. It will be the exact same color with the help of this little dropper. Um, so once you've done, once you have done the dropper for all the colors that you want, it's also really nice because you'll see that when you go to shape fill, all those colors are going to be in your recently used. So once you color drop all the ones that you want, it will save in your recent colors for just kind of like easy drag and drop access. So there you go. And that's how I do the colors. And then for the borders, if you click on the shape and go to the little pencil up here, you can go to weight and then choose the thickness of border that you want and then obviously the color of border that you want as well. So you can make really thick, chunky borders, you can make thin borders, um, but that is how I create the shape. And then super easy to create the, you know, whatever you want to go in the center, whether these are schedule cards or calendar cards, I just put in, um, I insert again at the top. Once I click insert, I'm going to find the text box and then I will put the text box in there and then write, you know, whatever it is that I want. Let me say I'm gonna do, you know, this is number one. Then once I put my number one in, you can highlight it. You'll go back up to home and then in the home as normal, this is where you can change the font, you can change the size, um, you can add a border, you can add an outline but this is just kind of where you get to play around with it. You can make it as big as you want by increasing the font size. You can make it smaller by decreasing the font size. Um, but yeah, that's just how I do it. I have all of my favorite fonts um, that I've downloaded from Teachers Pay Teachers, so that's where I get the cute font fr fonts from. <laughs> they are little smart cookie sticks oh my gosh they turned out really cute I'm super excited about them I think the kids are really going to like them a new angle for you guys last but not least um at least for this video I am going to prep a couple of posters for my classroom. I'm gonna show you, of course, what they are. Um, and then, yeah, I think that'll be it. So I am focusing on morning meetings uh, a lot this year. That's like one of my biggest things. 
Um, I feel like I have decent classroom management, but also classroom management comes from, you know, having a connected class, having mutual respect for each other and having that strong community. So I think by building that community from day one in morning meetings and then always having that every single morning is definitely going to help um, my second graders. So part of that is obviously communicating with each other um, and being kind and respectful. So now that I'm moving from kindergarten to second grade, there's just so many more resources, at least in my opinion, um, that I think my kiddos are really going to benefit from. So we'll be introducing accountable talk to my students um, in the form of sentence stems and just ways to agree or disagree respectfully with other people, how to ask questions respectfully, um, and just how to express themselves in communication with others. Sorry. So this is the set that I got on Teachers Pay Teachers. I'll have it linked down below. Um, this is from Teaching on Cloud Nine. So it's this cute little set, um, really nice. It has all of these different sentence stems. So I agree with because, I feel the same way as, I agree but I also think. I really like the clarifying questions, the disagreeing, and the um, agreeing. So I just printed them out. I have my clarifying in yellow, my agree is in pink, and then my disagree is in blue. I really like the adding on and the citing evidence, but I might save that for later on in the year. Um, I think this will be good to at least introduce the topic to my students. All right, my friends, so I think that's gonna be it for today's video. So, so far I did my calendar, I did my alphabet, I did my number line. I also did my read letters, which took forever, but they're so cute. I also did my accountable talk posters and I also made my little smart cookies. So I'm super, super excited. I am going to start setting up my classroom two days from today. So I'm pretty sure this video is going live on Wednesday and I get to start setting up my classroom on Thursday. So stay tuned. Make sure to like this video if you didn't and make sure to subscribe down below. You can hit that red button because the next few videos that I'll be posting are classroom setup. It's coming super, super soon. And just seeing like everything start to come to life like all the ideas that I had in my head is so awesome. So I can't wait to get it all set up. I can't wait to get in my classroom and just get started on this year. So make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Instagram if you're not already. It's just Golden State Educate and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone.